What is up, everybody? Welcome to Mental Misplay. I am Cyrus, and I am here to bring you an exciting game featuring Dylan and Cam from Play to Win and Mab from Stack EDH. For decks, we've got Dylan playing Nath Stacks, Cam's on Rog Silas Turbo Naz, and Mab is playing Hate Farm, a stack deck that looks to win through combat damage. I played Call the Happy Boros Dwarf. Before we get started, got some exciting news about our Patreon page. Starting in June, anyone at the $5 tier or higher will get one deep fried proxy, as pictured here, every month. Sent right to your door, $10 patrons get two of them. So make sure to sign up so you don't miss out on any. There's like one per month, and then once it's gone, it's gone. You might be able to pick them up at events or something, but for the most part, once it's done, it's done. All right, last thing before we get started, I do want to give a tiny headphone warning. There's some stuff that gets pretty loud and my audio unfortunately was sounding kind of like garbage for the first half or so of the game. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad and you still enjoy. All right, thanks for watching. All right, um, I'm gonna draw for my turn. Okay, yeah, do it. Get pro and we are going to gonna target Mab. Um, that's good to know, okay. All right, I'll draw a card. Play Morphic Pool as the land for turn. Cast Mox Diamond. Comes into play this card. Spire Bluff Canal. Cast Roger. Cast Mystic Remora. Jeez, I know. Oh, Dylan, you're up. Draw a card. Play an Overgrown Tomb. And I have to feed the fish once. I apologize. I'll cast a Chromox. Tainted Pact is going under the Chromox. Ooh. And I will cast Hapacha, Vizier of Poison. Ooh, nice. Pass turn. Draw Mana Confluence. Uh, that and a Exiling of uh, Simeon Spirit Guide is going to cast a Talisman of Conviction. And then I will cast that, taking another damage, a Impulsive Pilfer. Also throw a Rock Rack out there. And pass. Let's draw a card. Let's play a Command Tower. I'm also going to feed the fish. Turn one root maze. There it is. That's the root maze. There it is. Big draws. That's the root maze. There it is. That's the root maze. There it is. Big draws. That's the root maze. There it is. That's the root maze. Ooh. All right, get on my turn. I'm going to pay to keep the fish around. All right, I'll play a tapped command tower and pass the turn. I will untap. Draw a card. A swamp that will come into play tapped. And some combat. Cameron, I'll come at you with Hapacha. I'll take it. Uh, when, I, happened, why didn't I take when I deal damage to you, I will put a minus one counter on your Rograk. Cam. And when uh, your creature dies, I'll make a snake. <laughs> then I will cast a Birds of Paradise and pass my turn. Draw on that card. Sacred Foundry. One, two, uh, to cast Call. Swing one at Cam and pass the turn. Untaps. Pause. Let's play a tapped forest. I'm going to play Roth Girlfriend and I'll pass. Keep the fish around for another turn. Draw and we'll play Mana Confluence tapped, then pass. I will untap and draw a card. I'll go to combat. Cameron, I'll come at you for three, two, two, and a one, one snake. Got it. And when Hapacha deals damage, I'll deal one damage to Mab your elf over there. Or put a minus one counter on it, I mean. Sad. And make a snake. Cast a Phyrexian Revoker. And I'm going to name Goblin Bombardment. That's um, what I could I'm feasibly win with from this position if I had the right equipment. So that makes sense. I'm going to cast uh, Collector Oof. Oh, well, That's, why do name name That's why I didn't want to name an artifact. That's why I didn't want to name an artifact. And then I will pass the turn. Untab. Upkeep. We'll do some of those big draws. We're going to swing three at Cam. Big Adnaz picking on stuff. I'll cast a Seal of Fire. That's one way to kill an oof. It is. I'm going to pass the turn from there. And taps. Let's draw. Let's play a tapped City of Brass. Shall pass the turn. You pay to keep alive again? No, not this time. I was thinking about it, but... Yeah, I'll draw. We'll play a gemstone mine, Elwar stone in anticipation of Collector Roof eventually leaving the battlefield. I will pass the turn. Untap, untap. Draw for turn. I'll go to combat. Cam, I think it's still you. You have two mana up right now. Okay. Oh. I'll come at you for eight damage. Out of 23. 
Rograk. I'll, I'll put a minus one counter on Rograk. Get another sneak. Um, I have a dark ritual here. I'll cast Nath. Papa's here. <laughs> um, all right, that's it. Pass my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Some more big draws. Steel Shaper's gift. Yeah, we'll get the stuff. We're going to kill the collector oof with the seal of fire. It dies. Pay one for skull clamp. Well, I guess we should go to attacks. We'll swing three at Cam. <laughs> Here they come. More beats at my face. 20, 20 feels like a good place to be like, okay, Nas is not going to necessarily be a game winning card at this point. Um, so then second main will do mana confluence, which will hit us for one. Uh, to equip it to the Impulsive Pilfer, he'll die, make me a treasure token, and I'll draw two cards. Yeah, and he comes back to hand because of call, and then I'll use that treasure token. Oh, your treasure's tapped. Oh, it is. You're right. Okay, yeah, that's that that helps me uh, not worry about that. At, as is your skull clamp. <laughs> yes, definitely. That's important. Then I guess we'll cast a tapped... Chrome Mox exiling. Oh man, the the root maze I think just ruins everything with this. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Alan. We'll exile the open the armory. Then that's it for me. Untap. <laughs> play Alan. I do. Anytime Draw. I see a root maze. Let's play a tapped hollowed fountain. Tap three. And let's bring out Silas Ren. Pass turn. No, my turn. The draw. Play. Cast a Dockside Extortionist. Oh, I get eight. Nice. Okay. Eight tapped ones. I cast a snap. Targeting Dockside Extortionist. Another one. Boom. Fantastic over here. Mm-hmm. That's the turn then. Untap. Cam, I'll have you discard a card. Claw Talisman. Ooh. I'll get an elf. And I will draw for turn and go to combat. Cyrus, I'll come at you with my 4 4 Nath and my 2 2 Hapatra. And Cameron, I'll come at you with my three Death Touch Snakes. I'm going to take all six. I'll take three. Put a, uh, a minus one counter on Cole with Hapatra and make another snake. Cast Contamination. I will pass my turn. Okay. That's so. not great. Untap, I draw. Eh, that's not what we needed. A runaway steam kit. Ah, uh, yeah, that might have been dumb. I will crack this for a red. Use it to cast the impulsive pilfer. Plus one, plus one, I guess. It is on the steam kin. To equip the skull clamp to the pilfer. Draw two. He returns to hand, and I get that treasure token tapped. Guess I'll play the city of brass. City of brass, the paint swamp. Yeah, my two pain swamps I have here, very angry swamps, are going to deal me two damage so that I can cast a arcane signet. Oh yeah, and it just tap, so I can't actually use it. Okay, that was fun. I got a 1-1 one, one call. That's coming at you, ma'am. Well, I will mark that as one call damage yeah, because sure. I might have commander damage death. You never know. I got, I got some equipments. I can put a Shuko on him. Uh, pass. Untap all of these bad lands. Draw. Tapped mana confluence. I will pass her. Oh yeah, my City of Brass should have came in tapped. So, really I just have this in play and this in my hand. Sorry. Off a turn. Anyone have anything good in their graveyard? Probably. I collect your roof in a dark yeah. ritual. You need a, I have a, a seal elf. fire, steel shaver's grift, Rograk. So now, <laughs> cast the talisman of dominance. We'll cast Silas and pass. Untap, upkeep. Uh, Cyrus, I'll make you discard a card at random. You got a oh, the treasonous ogre. Uh, okay, I'll make an elf, and then for contamination, I will sacrifice uh, an elf during my upkeep. And then I will draw for turn. Go to combat Cameron. I'm going to come at you with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Cyrus, I will come at you with Nath again. I will just take the four. And then um, so Hapacha dealt damage. So I will make a snake and put a minus one, minus one counter on Cole. Cast to Sylvan Library. 
And pass my turn. All right. Looks like I'm going to be spending a turn casting coal and maybe nothing else. Draw this card. So does Ancient Tomb, that would make two black then, right? It's still two. No, I think it says it says it produces black instead of its normal type and amount. Oh, that's no fair. So it just produces black. Well, maybe I won't play that then. Maybe I'll draw another card. I'm not, I'm not sure <laughs> okay. if I'll draw another I, card. I mean, it would end and enter tapped anyway. That's true. It, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. All right, fuck it here. Um, I'm play even in the city of swamp, it still hurts you. Yeah. Counter on there. Clamp the goblin recruiter to draw two. Then I'll use this treasure for a red from Mox for a dockside. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna sack them all. I'm gonna float mana. I get nine. No, yeah. 10. I will remove the Runaway Steamkin pluses for three mana. I use one of it for the Impulsive Pilfer plus back. One of it for Skirk Prospector. This black colorless, mana. this black mana, yes. Um, to equip the Skull Clamp to Dockside. And then I'll sacrifice Dockside with the Skirk Prospector. Get another red over there. Draw two, if only. I could use my treasures. I'd probably win right now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use this to cast Dockside. I'll remove these again. Three red, one to equip Spell Clamp, and sacrifice. So two more cards for another Dockside, ten more treasures. Use that one, sacrifice him with the Prospector uh, to return him. Giving me one more red, draw two, spend the two red on the dock side which makes him go up to two i can sacrifice the pilfer make a treasure and a red mana uh, in order to equip the dock side one more time and then sack the dock side with the skirt prospector draw two i've drawn so much mana uh we will pay that red from the skirt prospector to red elemental blast mabs silas then we'll remove the zone three it. counters for three red Leo, thank you for the follow. I'm in like biggest just taking all the time from everybody mode right now. Um, use this one red, equip dockside, get one red from the Skirk Prospector, draw two cards. Our last red to cast a tapped soul ring. And I will pass one. How many cards are you discarding? Three. God. Oh yeah, I forgot that was the thing I need to worry about. Cyrus, what have you done? I know, what have I done? I'm discarding four cards. Planes, Pyroblast, Springleaf Drum, and Arcane Signet. We'll make four elves with that. I'll draw. I'll play tapped Verdant Catacombs. I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play and explore the vast lands. What? It is the backside of Wandering Archaic. <laughs> Guess I'm going to reveal this path to exile. Bloodstained Mire and Time Twister. War Lead Eater. I'm going to pass the turn. End of your turn, I'm going to crack the fetch land. Draw three mana or time twister. Yep. Just sculpted that hand from mini skull clampings. See, I riled up chat by passing <laughs> backside of our kick. <laughs> I was just reading through that, too. I'm going to cast the dark ritual. I'm going to use one of the black for vamp tutor. I'm going to get this card. Yeah, I really butchered. Well, you know what? Actually, actually. Oh, no, I did butcher it. That card goes on top. I did butcher it because now I have to play a tap land. An ancient tomb. Yeah, I butchered it. I'll pass. Botched it. Botched it. I botched that one. Oh, that's a botched job. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. We got some upkeep shit to happen. Let's see. Uh, I guess, Mab, I'm going to target you with the Nath and have you discard a card, please. That's a pyre of heroes. And I will make an elf and then contamination. Uh, I will sacrifice that elf to keep contamination alive. And then I'll have a Sylvan Library trigger and I'll draw three. Four life. Phyrexian Tower tapped. Cast a Mox Diamond that will also come in tapped. Discarding a Bloodstained Mire. All right, Cameron, I'm going to send two snakes at you, five elves at you, and a Phyrexian Revoker. And I'll also send... Apatra at you, and then Cyrus, I'm going to send Nath and three 1-1 one, one death-touching snakes at you. All right. I'm definitely taking it all. I think, so I think no matter what this does, it kills me. 
I think so. <laughs> um, so Hapacha damage, I will put a minus one counter on the runaway Steamkin, please. Boop. Cast a Dark Confidant, a Lanor Elves. I'm going to cast a Force of Vigor pitching Elvish Mystic right now, targeting your Skull Clamp and your Soul Ring. Reflecting Swat onto the contamination. I wish. <laughs> oh, wow. That would be something. Um, I can, in fact, do nothing. And Sorry. I should have a snake from that minus one counter that I put on your elemental thing, too. That's a snake that charged right. Okay. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Tapped command tower seems as good as any. Bergy. Two for a Stoneforge Mystic. Um, Shuko goes to hand. We'll cast a Paradise Mantle that'll be tapped. It'll give me a Bergy mana. So we'll use a Bergy mana and then get it back for Shuko. So I can make infinite mana at this point because I can infinitely cast Skirt Prospector by equipping the Shuko to it, sacrificing it for a red, and then recasting it. And every time I do that, the Runaway Steamkin will get a counter. So sure. I'll present that loop and have infinite red mana. Also, Bergy makes mana the whole time. So he'll land with three counters and I'll have infinite red mana. We will use one treasure and two of that infinite mana for a recruiter of the guard. Oh yeah, I guess before I did any of this, because I just forgot Paul's not in play, first thing I do is cast Call for four of my treasures. Oh, sure. I'm just, I'm just that bad at magic right now. Uh, grab Goblin Engineer, cast Goblin Engineer off the infinite. So we'll put Arcane <laughs> Signet in there, and uh, yeah, we'll pass the turn. And taps. Draw a card. They have tapped Overgrown Tomb. Five black mana, taking two life, and Turgrid. Oh no. That's it. That's it. I, I just wanted a blocker. <laughs> All right. I will untap, upkeep. We got Bob, Nath, and Contamination in not that order. Let's resolve them in uh, Nath. Um, Mab, I'll have you discard a card at random, please. Here goes my Arcane Signet. Boo. So I'll make an elf with Nath, and I will sack it with contamination uh and then i will reveal a card with dark confidant and take zero off of exotic orchard and then civil library take one card here play an exotic orchards producing black mana um cyrus i'm gonna come at you with six death touching snakes six elves a two two phyrexian revoker nath and dark confidant too i'm gonna send all these guys at you cyrus i am going to block the Phyrexian Revoker with Bergy, Dark Confidant with the Runaway Steamkin, Nath with Stoneforge Mystic, and then I've got a 1-2, so one of the elf tokens with the Goblin Engineer. Or yeah, Do you want to block the, the Atlanta Elves? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage coming your way. Um, my Dark Confidant and Phyrexian Revoker dies... My Stoneforge Mystic dies, but because it's equipped, it goes to my hand. Lanamore Elves dies as well. Cast Nether Void. Uh, oh. All right, pass turn. That's my that's my big plan. Draw for turn. There's a tapped Marsh Flats. So we'll make a red. What makes a red that doesn't hurt me? A treasure token? Is that it? <laughs> Goblin Engineer will sacrifice a... Treasure? The treasure's more valuable than the Talisman right now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what talisman is it? Talisman of conviction. It's just it's gonna kill me. I'll have, potentially a, I'll have a talisman of conviction. Oh yeah, yeah, you go for it. That'll bring right. back a skull clamp. I, I think I maybe run wear tear in here, so that's what we're gonna start digging for. We'll pay one. Um, we'll eat the recruiter of the guard. Draw two cards. Uh, we'll pay one more in some way that doesn't hurt us to clamp the goblin engineer and then sacrifice him for a red mana. Her prospector has that. Damn, why nether void of all the things. We will um we'll use this <laughs> so good. We'll use this red mana and we're gonna clamp the prospector. Draw two red and three to cast the skirt prospector. You get a mana on Bergy. Oh I should remove these also first. Yeah, we'll spend one of these to clamp, draw two. Cobalds of Kerr Keep, two, three, go down to 19 treasures. Uh, get a mana on Bergy, get a plus one on Runaway Steamkin. Use the Bergy mana to clamp the Cobalds, draw two. Uh, 
uh, I can do this many times, so hopefully I'll actually get there. How, how are you? What, what are you trying to get to? <laughs> I'm digging for a wear tear so that I can destroy the nether void. <laughs> uh. At which point I can get infinite red mana again. Which will Which draw would you your do, deck. Do, it would do all sorts of things right now. So many things. Uh, this red will equip the Paradise Mantle to Bergy. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even draw the Pyroclasm out of all that either. Go white, white for a pure steel paladin, so my equip costs are zero, which would have been helpful a while ago. I'm um, equip that for free. Draw two. I'm excited for you to go to discard phase. Yeah, right. No, oh, I'm gonna get so many more elves. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna get, get so many permanents. Uh, three red. To play him again, clamp him. I have my infinite tokens ready. <laughs> okay, well, big ol' whiff a is on that turn. Might have another turn. I highly doubt it. Okay, we'll pay, uh, we'll, we'll move this over here. No, I'd die if I do that, because the, the tapping of these just kills me, so I really can't <laughs> cast anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, um, uh, enjoy all your free stuff and elves that I'm about to give you. For Dylan, what matters, 31 tokens, right? Yeah, 31 tokens. Yeah, so you get Lotus Petal, Spring Leaf Drum, Mox Diamond, Divining Top, Mox Opal, and Grim Monolith. Why don't you send me the list in, like, a chat? Sure. <laughs> I can write them I'll just, I, I'll, uh, keep it all visible on screen as well yeah that 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 let's just do that okay you got goblin engineer you get to search for an equipment with a stone forge you get to search for a one or less uh mana cost with ranger captain of oh. eos a two toughness or good. less with recruiter of the guard a goblin with goblin matron then you got a mim knight and a mer moon vessel and a smothering tithe there's my Goblin. Toughness two or less. I had a land to discard, so that's good. Nice. I'll make another Mox Diamond. I will untap. So I'm going to draw. I believe I'm going to tap my Mox Diamond and sack this Lotus Petal. Tapping them both for green. Tapping the tap three. This Seedborn Muse. Tap this. Take a damage. Make a red. And I will tap my... Sensei's Divining Top, the draw card. While that triggers on the stack, tap the Goblin Buddy and sack that to return an artifact from my graveyard. That will get me a Pyre of Heroes. I tap the Seedborn Muse with, and the Springleaf Drum, and I'll tap the Mox Opal to make a blue. One, two, three, taking two damage to have an Unsettled Mariner. Pass the turn. During your untap, uh, I will untap with you. Untap, upkeep. We got Nath and a Contamination Trigger. I'll have you discard a card at random, please. In response to targeting me, I'm going to tap Monolith. Tap three alongside that and cast an Opposition Agent so it doesn't get discarded. That's my Shalai. I will make an Elf and then sack it to Contamination to keep Contamination alive. And then draw for Sylvan Library. Spend four... You have three blockers. So at Cyrus, I will send um, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, right. six attackers. And at Mab, I will send. Yeah, I'm just going to come at you with these 37 tokens. Block with 11 of them. <laughs> one, these two, three, these four, four one six. ones will die. And then the rest of them will go away once you die, Cyrus, if you are dying, unless you're not, I guess. We'll uh, yeah, no, I, I, I am dying. So that's 26 total elves coming at you, Mab, after those 11 die. I, I do block three of your guys, but then I die. Sure, three of my death-touching snakes also die. I'll play this City of Brass tapped, um, and I'm just going to pass turn. Go ahead. I just want to show you both. I just picked up 
what was re uh, left of my yeah. deck to shuffle it. Bottom card, the wear tear. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's so funny. <laughs> we were never getting there. <laughs> Draw. Tap two, activate Pyre of Heroes, sack the Unsettled Mariner. That'll be Derevi. We'll untap my Pyre of Heroes. I'm going to tap that again and sack the Op Agent. So that'll be a Sakashima coming into play as a Derevi. I guess I'll respond to the ETB trigger. And I'm going to cast Assassin's Trophy on the Pyre. And I'll pay the three extra for another void. Yep. There goes the pyre. I'm going to untap this command tower. I can't get there, so good game. <laughs> good game. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm just going to attack you with a whole bunch of elves next turn. <laughs> Nath beats in this economy. That's right. That's what you just saw happen. All right. As always, leave all the likes and comments and subscribes below. We'll be back soon with another video. Catch us on Twitch Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Stream schedule link below as well. All right, thank you.